Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to CodePipe. We are trying to make a system where we can use Python and its different modules to extract handwritten text and we can use some machine learning model to predict what is the word. This is the first part to achieve that task. In this video, we will see how to extract individual words from handwritten text images. Before going into details, let me quickly show what we are trying to achieve on today's video. So if we see here, this is our original image and we can clearly see we have handwritten text in our image. And by the end of the video, we will see how we can extract these words from the image. So the final image will look something like this, where we have identified some of the words using OpenCV and Python. We are not able to identify complete words yet, but we are on our way. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. This is a prepared Google Colab notebook. Let me walk you through it quickly. First we mount our drive on our Google Colab. Next we import some important modules like OpenCV as CV2, NumPy, Math, OS and Matplotlib. After this, we will create two functions. One will be preparing our image. Prepare means we will be converting our color images into gray images as well as we will convert their height. Next function is creating a kernel. Kernel is nothing but blurring the image using OpenCV. A kernel will mix neighboring pixels and depending on the values that we give, it will decide how much we can blur. I have used various internet sources to come up with this. Next we provide directories, image directory for single image or if we want to perform operation on a collection of images, we can provide the directory of the folder. Then we provide a save directory which will capture all the extracted words that we will take from the image. We will initialize an empty list that will contain all the image data once everything is done. Using the function of create kernel, we will create a kernel. Now we can move on to image processing. So first of all, we will read our image using OpenCV function imread. This will read the image and it will convert it into array of numbers, which will capture all the color data at pixels. Now OpenCV is a topic of discussion in itself. So I will try to provide a documentation link for OpenCV, which is this one. And in this, we can find different OpenCV tutorials and modules. Coming back to our notebook. Once we read the image, we will use the function created earlier of prepare image to convert the image into gray and also convert the height. I'm using matplotlib to show the image at every stage so that it is easy for us to understand. Once the height is converted and image is converted into grayscale, we will apply the filter and we will apply the threshold filter is nothing but as we discussed it will blur the photo by mixing neighboring pixels and threshold is nothing but we will give a threshold value if the pixel of the image is above the threshold the open cv will convert it into one if the pixel value is below threshold it will convert into zero let me quickly show you why we are doing all this process so if we see our initial image, this is our original image. So if we see there are some gaps in between the words. So we want OpenCV to know that this complete word is of one segment and the spaces between these should be ignored. That's why we are trying to distort image so that they can be mixed with each other. And once the neighboring pixels are mixed with each other, in the next step, it will be easy for us to consider this whole segment as one thing. So let's go back to our process. So we apply filter and threshold. And after we apply all this, let's see how all the images are looking. So this is our original image as we just saw. This is our grayscale image with change in height. As you can see, the original is 3000 some pixels. And now we have 14,000 some pixels. We have achieved this result from the kernel. We can see the words are quite distorted and we can always play with the values to achieve our desired goal. At the last, we will have our threshold image. So as you can see, 
we have only black and white some pixels are 0 and some pixels are 1 pixels below the threshold value are 0 and above the threshold value are 1 the next step is to find contours or outline for similar pixels so if we have neighboring white pixels it will consider this same and it will provide a bounding box around this which is called as contour so once we find the contours using the function find contours from OpenCV we will save the contours in components next we will initialize one empty list that will consist part where the box is there and the box boundary then we will go through all the contours or components and we will check for the contour area we are checking for the area because there are so many small pixels that are captured using the contours and we don't want them we just want the words so after some hit and trial i decided to use this value but as usual we can always play with this value if we have significant area above this value we will move on to the next step which is using the values of this contour to make a rectangle around the area and this will return our x coordinate y coordinate width and height so with this we will get the rectangular box around the area and using these values we will crop out that part of the image and we can save it in current image this box and its corresponding image we are saving it to a list so that we can use them further we will sort all the images and boxes in the list now we have all the significant area that can be considered as words and its outline boundary now we can draw rectangular on the main image and we can extract our word images now we will go through the list where our word image and its corresponding box is captured we will use the cv2 I am write function to write the cropped word in a different image and we will use rectangle to draw a rectangular using the specified dimensions given by the box and at the last we will see how the boxes are drawn so let's run this and see what is the result okay we are getting some error so it says name i is not defined so let me quickly define i outside the for loop let's try to run again as we can see here all the significant contours with the area more than the specified number are captured and we can see some of them are not completely word because maybe our kernel or distortion factors are not enough to consider them equal words but if we see some words are perfectly captured such as this r of net and we have different words also like from low this image proves that we can easily identify words and we can draw rectangles around them now let's quickly see how these words are extracted let's go to our save directory and have a look but before we move to see the save directory we need to run it once more because we forgot to increase the i at each count so let's quickly do this and let's run it again we still have the rectangles around the words now let's check our extracted words directory so if we see here we have this zero and we have many images that are captured let's try to find if we have some significant words but we will find very few words that are significant enough to consider to improve this we can try to change some values in our program so that we can get better results and making a machine learning model to predict handwritten words is a tough job and it takes time so this was my approach using which we can extract handwritten words give a thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to share it with your friends do let me know in the comments if we can improve it anyhow if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell because in the next part we will see how we can use these images to make a data set and from that we can use tensorflow and keras to make a machine learning model that will predict each handwritten text into its english word stay connected we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios